was. What's this? Oh, what the fuck that is? Now I gotta, uh. I'm gonna start getting to the bottom of all the topics dead myself. So I don't end up, uh. Cause I'll be lost. Yo, May cooking right there. You didn't. A real bitch would have been like, oh, you know what? Just like, FYI, I fuck such and such, and I fuck this one, I fuck that. So, you know. Whoa, who, who, what the fuck? What, what was but that? You let you 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 let everyone just be under the bus, be thrown under the bus. You let the baby be thrown under the bus, Tori, your best friend, your mom. What? Okay, hold on. So I know Nikki voice. That's Nikki saying this about homegirl. You better go conjure up your mother and say and, and apologize. That you 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 that's better disgusting. go conjure up your mother and apologize, Nikki. Somebody said her body as well. We ain't even gonna run down the list. We'd be here all night. Oh Lord. However. Remember, you guys chose to constantly make my family the focal point, right? And remember what I told you would happen every time? What is that? But I understand how you begged, now, begged, why? begged. I did. I was trying is so Nikki hard like, I, not to mom? like not to pay your dumb ass no mind because I could tell you was thirsty. You was, and I don't know if you sucked my DJ dick or not, but you. I don't his. know if you suck my DJ dick or not. And if people that are wild out over my nigga, make she fit the description. Everything is telling you. That she fuck around, suck a nigga DJ dick for something. And that's why we live in that culture. We live in that kind of society. We live in a capitalist society. Everything's for sale. You ain't shit unless you got money. Why we think that shit only apply to men? His best friend hitting him every day. Can, can I get on clean radio? Can I get on clean radio? I go on live, you begging my fans. Tell her, tell her to add me, tell her to add me. Boo, you know what, boo? Yo, my, yo. When I first was saying, like, with the Meg Thee Stallion shit, like, with the Tory shit, like, even when I was covering this shit with Party, with Party it was just like, come on, man. Like, it nobody be 100% right or wrong. It's always some blame to be taken, but motherfuckers don't be wanting to always take the shit. You see, it doesn't matter how many people you talk about. You have nothing to say about me because... You see, it doesn't matter how many people you talk about. You have nothing to say about me because... You know that the tea is scorching hot. The tea is scorching yeah. hot. Right? Um, this is the most attention any of your songs has, has ever gotten in years. You, at the last, what? I said five to ten things you did flopped. Bad. Flopped? You know, but What's the you're Nikki post on purpose like that? Twenty twenty four. 
is but so much lying people gonna tell tell people what you the nickname the nickname that you got for your friend your your homegirl that rap tell everybody the nickname you got for her yeah hmm. Nikki exposing shit right here a racist nickname for a person that you doing songs with a racist nickname for a song for for a person that you doing songs with okay so nikki really went on a rant on her huh she not not was trying to sell y'all the natural body package child the oh lord not the natural <laughs> yo bro that's what i was saying to look look right because when i put the videos on youtube i put the clip i always get mad crazy be like yo bro nigga why the fuck you like bro y'all yo that nigga yo i'm a part of the motherfucking new media niggas i will not be squashed i will not be silenced bitch was telling y'all she ain't get her body done i'm all natural had motherfuckers argue with me about the shit to find out she got her body done her nigga in the back like yo why you doesn't go ahead i don't care I tell anybody no you ain't gotta then it come like Man, nigga be like, man, let me I need to get super lit so I nigga could just get through whatever out here. stuff done and uh her -huh. nosy ass. A nigga get yeah, yo, if a nigga shit. got like what that call a clout, I niggas will just I, let a nigga do anything. I ain't never have be a to reptile eat that. a kid. Whew. Um I mean, wait a minute. So, a nigga come out, a nigga do a whole song about Bertha and say she swears and lies on her dead mother. About Bertha? Why is she calling her Bertha? Like Big Bertha, yo, Nikki is wild. Her best friend was Put through humiliation while she sat back, knowing what she was doing to this girl. Good. Am, am I low? It's gonna get lower. It's gonna get lower for you, boo. I ain't even gonna block you. Stay. Stay. Now, but I, I am supposed to believe. How you set the nigga up like that, number one? Let me tell you more. Let's have some real talk, first of all. How you swat? What, what nigga? What you saying? Make it. Hold on. Ain't no more of this shit? Hold the fuck on. Nikki on a rampage. Hold on, am I missing something? Okay, what's this? Is this some new shit? Hold on. Would this supposed to be the diss song then? Would this supposed to be Megan dissing her? She was hitting them balls though, but it's kind of like what they said with the Jay Z and Nas nah shit. Yeah, eat the fire. But you cracking joke, niggas is really questioning your character. Megan have been in a lot of different scenarios. A lot of shit has happened around her with her bro. A lot of questionable shit. 
And she got a mean reputation going for herself. Super thotty Illuminati. Everything she tell us is that she down with the super thotty Illuminati. Why the fuck shouldn't we believe her? I'm not necessarily a Nikki fan. When Nikki said her shit was flopping, I'm like, I don't know a lot of that. Old, almost all the songs I know from Meg Thee Stallion, them shits be like, I got some shit. I got whoppers on my jogging playlist, nigga. You think I'm joking, nigga? Like, I don't know if Megan write her shit, but she be she be coming up with some heat. It be shit there. I'm not questioning. Whether she look good, her talent, what she did with her, what I'm questioning, I'm just saying like, like I'm, I, I, I'm, I, like man, it's, it could be a lot of questions about me. I'm not one to say I got the best, like, like nigga, I've exposed so much shit to everybody. Like man, like nigga, like I'm, I'm, I'm an institution kid, like. Nigga, look, I you know, I'd have been on a I'd have did all type of wild shit. Where I'm at today though, whether or not like we can whether or not I'm gonna be trying to duck and dodge shit, whether or not like you could trust me right now, that's a different story. And I'm a part of the media. And if academics could do it, why the fuck can't I look at all the shit going on with this nigga? Best friends raping niggas. Every time you turn around, it's some wild shit. Like, when motherfuckers gonna start to believe something that motherfuckers is showing them? At some juncture, right? Nikki was busting jokes. But a lot of that shit that she said, I know that shit's stinging. Y'all ever seen that interview with Party? I'm tempted to pull I'm tempted to pull part of that shit up for y'all right now. Like when I'm saying hey, she got a large fan base. In the same way people attack me on YouTube over the academic shit, it is what it is. But like damn, like like look how Candace Owens was just questioning on um, Ariana Grande shit. Motherfuckers be operating with no moral compass, bro. See, the thing is. Let me spell oh, partisan. Let me see. All right. Let's see it pop up right here. Let's see if we catch a clip. Did they clip some of it? Okay. All right, game. We're going to pull this up real quick. Y'all know I fuck with party music. So before Megan was fucking with him, I'll let y'all listen to party. I got, you know, like probably 10 party songs uh -huh. on my playlist. This should be, he fire. Skims makes holiday <laughs> shopping so that's, what I, that's what I heard. How, yo, you heard that you were. Different <laughs> ears. Women have different ears. You had walls built up. I learned parkour. I put ointments on scars that you had before me. Where did you hear me be? This is crazy. Well, what, what was we're, also, we're also being immature, apparently. So where? Because we started. That was the second. Remember, he was saying like, yo, no, her walls. So everything. He was really trying to be a good nigga to her, I, despite here, everything. Here's, here's always my argument and my standpoint is uh -huh. like. Men love some men. Let me let me clarify. Some men 
love that love to be honest because they feel like that gives them a pass to say whatever the fuck they want because they're being Ooh. honest Ooh. under the guise of like, well, I'm honest, so that's noble. No, I, I, I've seen that before too. Like, and, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, that, so I'm trying to. So that's that's why for 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 women, it's like okay, so they're being immature. Paint this picture for me of Show Me Love though, because do you feel like similarly to the to to complaining? We're setting the stage up, and women women just want to argue and fight with you about whatever. So now <laughs> it's like now we here, and you're like, bro, I'm tired. I've been trying to massage these massage this this pain out from the last one that you was with, and it's not working. So what's what is what is the premise of Show Me Love? It's show Me Love. It's like, look, listen. First off, I, I I'm not going to do like what I what I don't like or what I don't want. Yeah, he you might. Let me so see. We here, mm -hmm. and I'm locked in with you, and I'm giving you always oh, important. To, I've been able to have conversations or just yo <laughs> had a perception of us where it was like oh and and it happens. Happens. and that happens absolutely and that was the story for us right was yes it, was, it was, the that was, that was the story until when the record exactly which record the Cobra, Cobra. record exactly so then again did that hurt you so what he was saying record? right did there you know? was like yo we broke up amicably everything was okay so before the public knew so before everybody, us, all the regular down here people before we knew, they had broke up and went their separate ways. So niggas was seeing shit like, oh, what's going on? But they was broke up. He ain't saying shit. She supposed to be ain't saying shit. And then she dropped the song. Said, I guess he fucked a uh, chicken up, some crazy shit like that. So that that record was coming out and referenced... If it was, but also explain to me what an amicable breakup looks like for two very high profile people. Because I also I also think that changes the changes the the range of emotion for everybody. That heightens everything. That 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 the raises public, the stakes. The public knowledge of right. You guys have had what is, something. Yeah. And, we had and, an idea and what are the what you guys were? Yes. And everything was this, mm -hmm. and now it is. And not. that's why I say what is amicable because sometimes because it felt like the rules changed somewhere. So mm -hmm. so where what was what was amicable about this? What did y'all what was the agreement that was like we don't need to talk about anything. We're just gonna move on. Or was there an agreement? I right. just feel like I just feel like. We were two solid people, like you know what I'm saying. I feel like, and two solid people do solid things, like yeah, you know like we got, we ain't got to make an agreement that we ain't gonna expose, like, like <laughs> me doing anything publicly or making any statements because I had made none thus far, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like right. good, bad, and different, none. like you yeah. know what I'm saying. In our relationship, as far as it's concerned, some there were a few times where people had a perception of us where it was like, oh, she's this and she said, and I cleared it up, like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You're not about to right. make, paint a picture of my partner, you know what I'm right. saying. So I'm going to clear that up. If things are being done, I'm going to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, in our own relationship, I never said a word, you know what I'm saying, of of how things were going. You know, so I just thought that's how we were in things. Hey. Like. Now, I want to ask a question because to me... And so then you get like... So now it's like, yo, now he might be like, yo, bro, it is a crazy, nasty world sometimes with that type shit. So like he jumped out to the fit, but rather than ever question her character, if she, it's like, but how could you respond? You would do like, and she dropped a song on his daughter's birthday. Like you know that's my daughter. Like it was a lot of spiteful shit that went on. The name of this podcast to see the thing is. You know all I watch is podcasts. So but if you want, if you really do desire. To watch that whole joint and really get like his take of it. And they was on him from a female perspective. But I always tell people, I'll be like, yo, damn, coming from the human side of things. Cause we always trying to separate ourselves from each other. So oh no, we there, we did think. Bro, you human, I'm human. You experience pain, I experience pain. You experience hurt, I experience hurt. You can be motivated, I can be motivated. If you you want love, I want love. Like there is a human part to the shit. And I really believe that we do need to get there.
We have no choice. Boy, some of these boys ran upstairs. Yeah, though, man, but what you said, bro?